All right, I'm back. I noticed that when I put long videos up on my channel, a lot of times they don't get watched very often. People, I know how it is. I, I don't really have time to watch any long videos at the moment myself. So I understand if you guys don't watch them because they're too long. I get it. It's all good. I'm not offended if you don't watch it. So. But I do thank all you guys for the support and everything. I'm, I've been meaning to do a contest here, but I just have not had any time to do it. And it's not fair to um, you guys for if I start a contest and I can't really reply to anybody right offhand. I don't have time to sit down and watch any video responses or anything either. So I have postponed the contest till a later time. But I will have one. Um, we'll do something fun. I don't know, maybe send me a video or something. I'm not going to say what. I have a few ideas in mind, but like I said, I'm going to save it until I do actually do the contest. So, all right. So, like I said, I hope you guys had a lot of fun over the holiday. I love Halloween and Christmas. I mean, those are my two favorites. Christmas is my most favorite, but Halloween is right there. But I didn't really. I dressed up a little, but not nothing major. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back together real quick. I think maybe. Nope, we're not. But. I know I haven't mean it like I said I've been I was putting videos out all the time there for a while and I just school started back up and I'm busy studying this new job started and I got to do a lot of stuff to get that going also I got a three-week course I have to take to get my licensing for it so that's what I've been doing there I just started that in fact got my bolt back together it goes back together as any normal AR bolt would you got your pen it holds your your extractor and your spring in place. I always check to make sure it still functions. Right. Your pins are the same, pretty much. A cotter pin that goes in to hold the firing pin in place. All right. What I'm gonna do is wipe this down really fast. Like I said, when I first got this rifle, it would not fire with a crap. So I soaked the bolt carrier in some brake free for about, a, oh, three weeks or so before I took it back out. I did some uh, little, uh, check, took a couple burrs off of the bolt face and stuff to make sure it channeled right. It, it worked right. Polished it up nice and pretty. And then I took it back out again, and I only had a couple of jams after that. But at first, it wouldn't fire steel ammo at all, wolf or brown or uh, silver bear, or the golden bear for that matter. Wouldn't fire that either. I did manage to get it to fire steel ammo now, and it will do it on a regular basis. actually going to polish that up before I put the rifle back together. Whoops. All right. Now we're going to put the bolt carrier and get it oiled up a little bit. I don't put a lot of oil on it, just enough to get by with. The more oil you put on, the dirtier it gets cuz oil will collect dirt. So, I just put a little bit on there to get it to slide nice and smoothly in the carrier. in the camera now real quick. That. Cam pen. I 
And it's just like the AR bolts, it will only go in one way. So it's kind of hard to screw that up. Put your firing pin in. your cotter pin in there. And this cotter pin has always been tight. To push it all the way in. So there. And there you go. Bolt back together. I may put a little bit more oil down in there. that's all together. I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning the barrel real quick and uh, put it all back together then. This is about six minutes. I probably... Hmm, there's my phone again. But that's super, but that's super G again. We'll see. Trying not to get my phone all screwed up. Let's see. Who did text me now? Help. Cool. Alright. Congratulating me on my new job. Yeah, should make for more guns and ammo. Sorry guys, I know you don't want to watch me texting. I don't even want to watch me cleaning my guns. That's all good though. Sweet. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen Super G's. He's buddies with uh, Mr. Surgical Precision. And I'm friends with Mr. Surgical Precision. He's a good friend of mine. If you haven't seen his channel, please go check him out. You'll like it. Can't think of uh, Shannon's other channel offhand though. It's something Everglades. I'm sorry. I'm sure he's going to see this and he's going to hey. But I apologize for that. Yep. Alright. I am going to scrub the chamber out too real good on this thing. But I always make sure my barrels are nice and shiny before I put the guns away. After I get done cleaning them. Yeah, like I said, this this rifle is very old. This is not a uh, st a stamped um, receiver either. It's actually oh, it's a solid receiver. It's not the the, the thin receivers you see on most of the ARs now. Unless you pay the big money for the, the the block of steel to be machined out. That's what this is machined. It's not a stamped out piece of metal. But yeah, hope everything's well with everyone. I'm probably gonna show the rifle off before I put it all back together again. I mean, I might do it. We'll see. As I like I said, I want to polish that that uh, piston a little bit. Get a little little dirty and nasty. I'll build up on it. All right, I think that's about got it. Visual inspection of the barrel real quick. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Sweet. Alright, I'm gonna put that together. Where did I put that now? That is not there. Hmm. I know where it's at. Uh, I forgot somebody borrowed it. Oh well, it has been borrowed, so we're gonna do this really quick. Let me try and get it to work. Let's see. I need my thing here. 
I lent out my chamber brush to uh, my buddy. He was having some problems with his kids AR jamming up, so we're gonna just do this. And he's still got the uh, handle for it. No biggie. There. As I knock everything on the floor. Ow. I got stabbed. Can't grab a hold. I can't get a good grip on it. There. Alright, guys. I'm going to do this. I need to wipe this down a bit here. There we go. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to cut it off short tonight. Yeah, screw it. You guys would. Oh, just have to bear with me. I'll do a quick video of putting her back together. Actually, not too bad. I didn't. I only fired a couple hundred rounds through it last time I took it out, so it's not too bad. It's a little dirty, but not too badly. But I don't ever put guns back into service until I get them nice and clean. There's this thing too. That's nasty. It's very nasty. We're going to scrub the hell out of that too. Alright, I got some good Q-tips here, nice and long. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get all this done. This is actually the uh, gas tube that it comes out and it is pretty pretty dirty up in there yeah. good thing to use on stuff like this and your gas tubes on your own normally ours is a pipe cleaner and it's the regular pipe cleaner the good kind with the little wires in it that's the stuff right there you need to have that stuff works outstanding on cleaning that up Not that, you know, you don't, I, I know people that never cleaned their gas tubes and never had a problem with their ARs, but I do every once in a while I'll clean it and make sure it's not clogged up. just fits in the wood here. So let me show this on the camera here. I usually just twist it upside down like so. Slide it back into place and turn it down. And it actually fits all the way up to the top front there, which I see needs to be cleaned also. <laughs> Sorry about this guy. Just a little tweak in there. It's not too bad though. Alright, we're good. Alright. That's in place. Now we're gonna. I'll go ahead and put this bad one back together real quick for you. Now you got slide. You got guide rails in here, which you're gonna slip. Hope you guys can see this okay. Not hard to do. Watch the camera. Fit. I caught on. There it goes. And I 
then you're going to take your retainer and put it right over this. Oops. And this will hold your spring in place after you get it in. There. Springs in place. Slide your rear side assembly and the two little grooves in the back. That's in place now. Drop your pin back in. All right, we're golden. That's that works good. All right, there you go. I'll give you this little look of the serial numbers on here. Well, not the serial numbers, but the, the name of it. You can see that in the camera too good. It says Gwen, Gwen, or Bushmaster rifle, Gwen firearms. And Gourmet 5.56 millimeter. And the serial number is on this side of the gun. R21. So yeah, that's my book. That's my uh, Wind Firearms Bushmaster. All right, guys. See you later.